Well. Looks like we've got to do some sort of adjustment to it. <laughs> well, it might work. It's a bit noisy. If I just turn it slowly, you can see so that's the theory. I'll go and put some water in the bath. Or do I, I might put some water in the sink instead rather than filling the bath up with a lot of water and wasting it. Right, just going to try it in the kitchen sink rather than upstairs in the bathroom. Will it even fit? Well, it will. Right, shut that down. Well, it's going backwards. <laughs> yeah, okay. Looks like we've got to do a bit more design work, doesn't it? Maybe bring these in a bit. I think the motor's overheating now. Yeah, that's not a happy motor. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we're actually getting there with this, are we? Yeah, I can feel the heat of the motor through the plastic. Sounds like it's actually rubbing where it shouldn't be. That's not going to be helping at all. So I need to make that gap bigger. Yeah, we're not there yet. We've got a bit more work to do. Oh, I just adjusted the motor position. What happens now? Like that. Still struggling. Yeah, okay. Well, it's an interesting theory, but so far it's a fail. I don't think those magnets need to be as strong, to be honest.
That's working quite well when I do that. Looks like it's got to be a very fine adjustment. That's given me an idea. I'm letting the magnets get too close. If I space it, hold it out a little bit, it worked better. Well, I think I'm going to have to admit defeat on this one. I'm just not making the progress I was hoping. The theory's there, but the practice isn't. I think I need it to rotate much slower because it's just spinning so fast that, well, it's just not happening. I've actually upped the voltage quite significantly to try and make it work. And I've tried less voltage as well to see if less voltage would do it. And it is going forwards. But the honest truth is, it's just not working the way I was hoping. So, fail. And it is vibrating, but it's not enough to get it going very well. Yeah, it's definitely moving forwards. But I was hoping to get more movement. So, uh, yeah, interesting, but ultimately just not working. Maybe if I brought it in much closer, Less movement here, longer tail, so it moved longer there. 
There's certainly plenty of options to explore. But I think I'm going to call it a day for now. Maybe revisit it some other time. I think if we geared that down so it rotated much slower, then we'd get a sensible flip-flop rate. So maybe a low geared motor might do it. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.